She died at the hand of the body politic. She died at all our hands. Most of all, she died at her own. She died because she would not submit. Twas not my plan to kill her, stupid, stubborn woman. Why did she not confess? I would have granted clemency. I would have shown her mercy. You had the power to stop the madness, but instead you chose to let it run all the way to its barbaric conclusion. You brought the curse down on New Eden. Then you called we banishers in to fix your mistake. You boast of your knowledge of demons and spirits, but in truth, you master nothing. You're a peacock. All show and no me. I'm not here today to bring justice. But this man, your governor, brought death to your doors. <laughs> he deserves blaming. And shame on me if I don't do it. Oh, it's best. No. Oh. Friends, have I ever not served the interests of our community? Have I not protected you? Have I not loved you? Then, who will protect us? I will. While Mr. McCraith fights the curse of New Eden, I will protect the people of the Harrows. Or at least, I'll try. Now let's all return to our homes and pray for forgiveness and uh, the strength to bear the consequences of our actions. Your fee. One of the many debts my father left me. You'd best put your own debts first, young Master Haskell. Don't I know it? I hate this place. Rest up, then please, let's get out of here.
No one home. I, I'm resting. That's it. I'm resting. And I, and I didn't know about the governor. I swear. We can't leave yet. You're angry, Kint. Of course you can. Aren't you angry? I'm more disgusted by the sins Fairfax Haskell committed in the... I hope they'll burn in hell. Don't lose yourself. I'll do what it takes. I'm... The closer we get to my body, to the truth about what happened here, the stronger I feel. My senses rise. My feet, I know. But that I, I thought when I left home. You thought by becoming a banisher, you'd overcome your anger and fear. I thought at least I'd gain. I under so much so that the sister I thought was gone. Your sister? No. That night, the night I died. Are you sure it was a dream? Yes. It must have been a dream. But I heard her voice. Dreams can be vivid. I was awake, Red. What did you hear her say? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, she's after my... No. Still... Glorious.
Ceridian? Uh, what do you mean, Ceridian? War! Ceridian, what's wrong? War! War! I don't think she can hear us. We need to go back to the swamps. You understand that? But it's a bird. It's Ceridian, by way of the invisible, speaking through the crow. It doesn't work both ways. Imagine having a conversation with someone far away. Can you feel it? I have goosebumps. The veil is t If I bruise the bud so the spectres inside show themselves, you could shoot them. Once freed, the ivy should quickly wither. can get to that ivy from the other side. I can't touch these webbings, but I won't be able to get us through. I know I make everything look easy, but... Not getting through here. Got it. If I bruise the bud so the spectres inside show themselves, you could shoot them. Once freed, the ivy should quickly wither. Yeah. 
I bruise the bud so the specters inside show themselves, you could shoot them. Once freed, the ivy should quickly wither. We can get to that ivy from the other side. The wards have weakened. Ceridian's power wanes. Nobody's home. I can feel it. <laughs> 